Hey everyone, just wanted to welcome you to my latest comic book haul. Uh, before I start showing you the books, I wanted to go and show you guys the latest sketch uh, commission that I just received back. Uh, this is a sketch done by Randy Green, artist who's done uh, some pencils and some covers for Marvel and DC. Uh, commissioned this through a uh, online community I, I belong to about eight months ago, and I just wanted to show you guys how really really nice I mean the detail to this sketch is unbelievable it does great colors on it too I don't think there's you know anything on this book that hasn't been touched by him you know he even colored in all the white on it I just just great great artwork I love the detail in the hair everything else so you know if you're a fan of commissions as I am and uh, I have quite a few you, you'll enjoy that you know first book I'm gonna show you, and I'm gonna keep the commission up there, just for a little background color. There is a uh, A Force number one, one in twenty-five variant, uh, first appearance of Singularity. Picked this up from Midtown when they first uh, put it out for sale, uh, as well as the next few books that I'm gonna show you. Also uh, picked up the Ultimate End variant, the one in twenty-five variant. Uh, great cover shot of Miles Morales. Piers Miles Morales is going to be uh, carried over into 616 world once everything is done with uh, this whole secret wars. It's going to be interesting to see what they do with his character. Uh, I've been picking these up as I go along there and I just enjoy them. Uh, it's the ultimate end uh, action figure variant of Miles Morales. Also picked up the Secret Wars Battle World number one Black Panther action figure variant. These things just look great. I wish these actually some of these figures were actually on uh, card and actual figures. And also the uh, Deadpool number one action figure variant. Uh, no, no, with the action figure variant theme, I also uh, I've been picking these up as I go along. I actually picked up two copies of Star Wars number five, and this one is the C3PO action figure variant. I'm trying to put two sets together. Uh, I, I enjoy them. I, I like the way the, the, the work is done. I'm trying to remember the uh, artist who's been doing it. I believe it's like Christopher. And I don't remember his last name, but the guy's just done a great job. Also, uh, picked up Batman number 40, third print variant. Uh, I, I, I like the color scheme on this. Just, uh, you know, something to hold on to. And then, uh, had to spend a few bucks for this, but uh, I was able to get the Star Wars number four Boba Fett variant which is a pretty hard book to find if uh, you're following it online I believe this was a uh, con exclusive so you know good book to have here's another book that I, I want to show you guys and uh, I, I haven't seen too many of this book around but uh, I was able to get my hands on it for a pretty good price and that's Amazing Spider-Man 674 it's the 50th anniversary uh, Silver Surfer homage cover. I believe the, uh, this was like a 1 in 25 print run. There's only a, a little bit over 1,100 of these books that were printed. You know, Every time I get a chance, I, I've been following this online for a while, on eBay and everything else, and the book is pretty pricey. It goes for like 50, 60 bucks sometimes. Between four, I'm sorry, between about 40 and $50. But uh, I got it for a little bit better deal. Another hot variant that I've been looking at for a while and I picked up and is X-Men Origins Deadpool one shot and uh, love the cover on this love the artwork and it's it's a tough book to find you know it's it's another book that's pricey in the 40 to 50 dollar range once again uh, got it for about 25 dollars so I was happy with that next book I want to go over Birds of Prey number one uh, from the brightest day storyline and this is the first appearance of the white canary anybody who watches arrow uh, will knows that uh, legends of tomorrow uh, TV show is going to be coming out and the white queen was shown on the uh, video the promo co that was coming for the, the prequel for the show so uh, you know a little bit of a speculation book but you know, it, it looks really good. The artwork I like a lot. And you got Oracle in there, Huntress, Hawk and Dove. You know, good book. Another book I picked up 
was Ultimates number two. And this has the first appearance of Clint Barton's wife, uh, who appeared in the new Age of Ultron movie. So, uh, you know, nice little book to have. Got this for three bucks, so I can't beat that. Also picked up uh, Wolverine and the X-Men number one. I, uh, I've i been picking this, this whole storyline up, so I needed number one. I found it for about $3, so had to jump on it. You know, VF condition, at least. Good book to have. Great storyline if you haven't read it. I enjoyed it. Next thing I was able to get, I was able to get full run of Infinity Gauntlet. One through six, all in VF plus shape. Uh, really happy to get this. This is my second set that I have right now. And uh, everybody who's been watching the Avengers movies and all the Marvel movies knows that somewhere along the line that Infinity Glove and the Infinity Stones are all going to be part of the big movie with Thanos. Uh, you know, exciting times right now for Marvel superhero collectors and, you know, old time readers, you know, storylines that we read as kids are now coming to fruition on, on the big screen. It's it's amazing to me. I don't know about you guys, but just watching the vision in the latest movie was uh was a real treat. Uh for those of you who've been following it, you know that uh New Mutants is gonna be coming out as a movie. Um this is the first appearance of Warhawk. He was already in uh the last X Men movie. But uh I've been picking up first appearances of New Mutant characters. New Mutants number 18. It's the first appearance of Warlock. Also picked up New Mutants number 25, which has the first cameo appearance of Legion. Uh, David Heller, who is um, Charles Xavier's son, and one of the most powerful mutants out there. And. 26, which is the first full appearance of David Heller, also known as Legion. Also was able to buy uh, two books together. I picked up uh, Ultimate Fallout number four, first appearance of Miles Morales, and with it, and this is why I uh, actually made this purchase, I was able to get the Ultimate Fallout variant. This is a tough variant to find. Um, when it when you do see it, even on eBay or online auctions or anything else, it's about forty to fifty dollar book. It's an expensive book, sometimes even more. And uh, this is in real, real, real nice condition, as you can see. You know, uh, no spine takes on it or anything. I might have to send this out to CGC because it's just so nice. Also, uh, I'm a fan of Ad, um, Adam Hughes, so I've been picking up his cover variants there uh, some Catwoman Adam Hughes variants uh, here's another one love that with Zatanna on the cover I believe they're actually making a figurine of this right now in the DC direct lines uh, another one just uh, the guy draws the female anatomy fantastic look at this just a great cover there. Really, really like it a lot. Uh, next book I picked up was another one for my um, Amazing Spider-Man run. And it's Amazing Spider-Man 177. It's got a Green Goblin cover on it. Book's really sharp. Uh, VF Plus, probably. Got it for a good deal, so happy with it. Nice book. Uh, last few books are some nice key books that I picked up got this Hawkman number one uh, th this is probably in a probably a 4.0 3.0 it's got some issues with the spine but, you know but 12 cents good old 12 cents Silver Age goodness you know Hawkman is bound to be taking off somewhere along the line once the uh, Justice League movie takes off also seen this book a lot uh, most of you'll know it but it's a Hawkman number four. First appearance is a Tana. Uh, again, probably a 4.0 on this book. Has a little bit of a rusty staple on the bottom. 
but the colors are vibrant got a little stress damage to it other than that though you know nice book to have probably gonna send this book to get pressed out see if it could uh, help with the grade a little bit also picked up uh, a really really nice copy of Dead Devil number 10 this book is probably uh, VF plus as you can see the purples are really vibrant on this so is the red book just shows you know really well for such a low low issue I, this is right now this is the lowest issue on Dead Devil my Dead Devil run that I have I was happy to get this I got this book for about forty dollars and the last book I got I was so excited to pick this up it's been a book I've been wanting for quite a while now you know I've been trying to find it at the right price and I think I got a good deal on this and that's Amazing Spider-Man number 31 this is the first appearance of Gwen Stacy um, books colors are really really sharp has a little bit of like a scratch mark there under the M going through the M other than that a little Marvel chipping on the top corner I would say this is at least a 6.0 maybe maybe a 7.0 uh, you know if you guys have any opinions on that just let me know but uh got this book for about 180 dollars with shipping so at that price i i just had to jump on it real happy to have this in my collection um that's about it for now i'm going to be going down to the uh next show on at the new york east east coast show which will be on june the 6th I'll be there for the one day to Saturday. So uh, hopefully I'll see some of the other, the other YouTubers over there. And once again, thanks to all my supporters. And I'm glad to be putting out these videos. Hopefully I'll have another one for you within another two weeks or so. Thanks. Take care.